to Tesla Life Europe. Will Tesla FSD supervised be approved in the Netherlands before Europe? There are speculations that Tesla full self-driving FSD supervised may be allowed in the Netherlands first, in the summer of 2025, June to August, and in Europe later, depending on regulatory approval. Elon Musk reiterated in January 2025 that the Netherlands plays a key role as the primary regulatory authority, with a presentation to the EU scheduled for May 2025, followed by an expected approval. If this schedule is correct, approval in the Netherlands could potentially take place as early as May or June 2025, which would allow for a rollout in the summer. Tesla seems to be using an exception through Article 39 of the EU regulations, which allows for accelerated national approval, for example by the RDW in the Netherlands, before the broader EU regulations through the UNECE DCAS regulations are finalized. This can be valid for 36 months in the Netherlands, even without EU-wide approval. If the RDW agrees in May 2025, as some sources suggest, FSD supervised could be operational in the Netherlands as early as the summer. For the rest of Europe, this depends on how quickly the EU adopts the Dutch approval, which could happen in Q3 slash Q4 2025, July to December, but delays are not excluded. The UNICE Working Party 29 GRVA is working on DCAS regulations that enable FSD supervised. Although the process progressed in September 2024, full implementation by member states is not expected until 2025, possibly later than the summer. This makes Tesla's Article 39 strategy crucial for an earlier rollout in the Netherlands. Without this exception, the chance of approval in the summer would be smaller due to bureaucratic slowness. Tesla must not only get approval, but also demonstrate that FSD works safely in European conditions, like roundabouts, interaction with cyclists, and complex city traffic. The technology is already well advanced in the US, but local adaptations and validation take time. If Tesla completes this before the summer and convinces the RDW, a Dutch rollout is realistic. For Europe as a whole, the chance is smaller, because approval per country or EU-wide requires more coordination. Tesla's timelines are often optimistic, and delays are possible. Regulatory agencies may require additional testing, which could postpone approval after the summer. Political resistance. Some countries or agencies may be reluctant because of safety concerns or lobbies from traditional car manufacturers. Technical bumps. Unforeseen problems with local traffic situations can delay the rollout. The chance that FSD supervised will be approved for use in the Netherlands in the summer of 2025, June to August, is fairly high, around 60 to 70%, provided that Tesla's Article 39 strategy succeeds and the RDW approves it in May or June. This makes the Netherlands a likely first in Europe. The probability of a Europe-wide approval by the summer of 2025 is lower, around 40 to 50%, because EU-wide approval is unlikely to come until the third or fourth quarter of 2025, after the summer, unless the Dutch approval is adopted quickly. In short, in the Netherlands, it is plausible that FSD supervised will be legal by the summer of 2025, but for the whole of Europe after the summer is more realistic. Updates from Tesla and the RDW in the coming months will be decisive. If Tesla's full self-driving FSD supervised is only allowed in the Netherlands, for example through a national approval under Article 39 of the EU regulations, this does not automatically mean that it will work throughout Europe. Let's explain this clearly. If FSD supervised is only approved in the Netherlands, for example by the RDW, it is legally only usable on public roads there. Article 39 provides a temporary national exception, up to 36 months, but this applies strictly within the national borders of the Netherlands. Tesla could technically activate the software for Dutch roads, but in other EU countries, its use would not be legal without additional approvals. Technically, FSD can work anywhere Tesla has adapted the software to local conditions, road signs, rules and infrastructure, 
Tesla's systems are based on GPS and maps, so they can theoretically limit functionality to the Netherlands, geofencing. However, if you cross the border into Belgium or Germany, Tesla could disable the software, or warn that you are driving outside the approved area. Whether they actually do so depends on how strictly Tesla follows the rules. Scenario 1, Tesla disables FSD supervised outside the Netherlands to avoid legal risks. Scenario 2, Tesla leaves it on and relies on users to take responsibility themselves, which is risky in terms of liability. In practice, Tesla usually opts for geofencing to stay compliant, as with other features that vary by region. So even if it works technically, you probably wouldn't be able to use FSD supervised outside the Netherlands without a notification or restriction. EU countries have their own traffic laws and approval processes. A Dutch approval via Article 39 does not oblige other countries to accept it, although it could set a precedent. Only when the EU-wide UNECE regulations, such as DCAS, approve FSD, or when other countries follow the Dutch example, will it legally work everywhere. Until then, it will be limited to the Netherlands, legally speaking. If you use FSD supervised outside the Netherlands when it is not allowed there, you violate local laws, which can result in fines, impoundment or liability in case of accidents. Tesla's warranty or insurance may not cover damage because you are operating outside the approved zone. No, if FSD supervised is only allowed in the Netherlands, it will not automatically work throughout Europe. Technically, it may be possible. But legally and practically, Tesla will probably limit it to the Netherlands via geofencing. Europe-wide functionality requires approval per country or EU level, which will probably come outside the Netherlands later than the summer of 2025. So you could drive in the Netherlands with FSD, but as soon as you cross the border, for now it becomes a grey area, both in terms of operation and legality.